Hi, this is Trey Pass, and welcome to my review of Aladdin. Okay, this is a live action, uh, I would guess, remake of the car of the classic cartoon. Okay, this stars Will Smith as the genie, of course, and Mina Massad as Aladdin, and Naomi Scott as Jasmine, and Marwan Kanzari as Jafar. Okay, uh, <clears throat> going into this movie, like like a lot of people, the first, you know, the first teaser trailer, and Will Smith's genie looked. It looked like a blue mess, to be honest. But the second trailer, you know, kind of restored your faith in it. So I was looking forward to this movie a lot because I love the cartoon and love Robin Williams as a, as a genius. I love the songs and stuff. So I was looking forward to uh, this uh, movie, and it didn't disappoint me. I actually uh, quite like this uh, live action animated, uh, uh, not animated, live action version of Aladdin. Uh, I thought uh, Will Smith was uh, decent. It looked like he wasn't trying to, uh, you know, do exactly. Uh, he was less zany than Robin Williams' uh, genie. He was more like Aladdin's friend, actually more like a like a godfather, actually, in this movie, like giving Aladdin advice and stuff and trying to steer him down the right path, okay? And I thought uh, Will Smith, you know, like I say, he's not the best singer, but I thought he did good in the musical numbers that they... And uh, I thought also... Uh, Mina Masada is Aladdin. I thought he was really good. He was a good singer, good dancer. Like I said, he had good chemistry with Will Smith and good Smith with Naomi Scott, who played Jasmine, which I think is essential to the story. You know, you know, having them having good chemistry together, and I thought he was quite good as uh, Aladdin. Okay, you felt for his character, and he, you know, displayed that, you know, that that plucky street urchin, you know. <laughs> The type of guy that Aladdin was, who had a you know a decent heart and stuff, you know, and he was always running these scams and stuff. But you know, at the heart of it, he was a decent person. Okay, and Naomi Scott as Jasmine, absolutely beautiful. She could sing, and again, I thought her chemistry with Mina Masad was absolutely fantastic. You you actually believe that you can tell it from the moment they met. They had good chemistry together, which is essential to me. I think to any romance, and it was definitely showing in this and. She got, like I said, she could sing. She really, I think she was the best singer out of everybody in the in the whole movie. And uh, she was absolutely breathtaking. I loved the, her her outfits, her, you know, the, the background. I loved her relationship with her father, okay, and her uh, handmaiden, I think, uh, Della, Delia, played by uh, Nassim Padrat. Uh, I thought, she, you know, they had a good, you know, friend chemistry, too, as well. And... I liked it. Uh, Billy Maxson's in this. He plays like one of the visiting princes that's, you know, because you know in the story, uh, they're trying to marry off, uh, the, you know, the, marry off uh, Jasmine. So all these princes and stuff come. And uh, Billy Maxson played one, this, uh, I think he was a Swedish prince or something. And he was hilarious <laughs> for the brief time. He's not in the movie that much, but he, he was hilarious and is uh, doing that wacky accent and stuff. Now, Jafar. Now, I said before, I think when I did one of the reviews of the second video, again, J the uh, Jafar, I, maybe it's because I'm, we're so used to Jafar being the older guy with that, just in the way the animated version was, and just him being so big and imposing. This character, this actor, uh, it just didn't give that, he didn't give that sense of menace, okay, that I kind of wanted Jafar to have. And I definitely think, but I, uh, what's that guy? I'm trying to remember the, the guy from the Mummy. I forgot the, what the actor's name is. The guy, not the guy that was in the Mummy. The guy that was helping Brandon Fraser. I can't remember that guy's name to save my life. But he, I think, would have been a better Jafar. And I think he did play Jafar on Once Upon a Time. I think he did. So that actor, whatever his name is, him, he would have been. Well, he already played Jafar. And I guess so. I guess they wouldn't put him in the Disney movie because he did play Jafar on uh, one. Uh, I gotta say one day at a time. That one, once upon a time, he did play Jafar on that TV show, Once Upon a Time, and he was really good. He, that type of menace uh, and evil. This guy didn't just—he didn't portray that to me, so which which is sort of a letdown because you want Jafar, you want your main baddie to be have screen presence and and project the right amount of menace. And I'm sorry, I just don't think Rowan Kanzari portrayed that. I, I just—he didn't. It didn't come off that way to me, which is which is sort of a letdown to me. I just I wanted a more menacing Jafar, okay, and he just wasn't it to me. I'm sorry. 
His voice was just too light, not deep enough, and he just didn't look evil enough, if that's a, a way to, to describe him, I just, which is, you know, which is kind of sad. But anyway, I, I like I said, I loved uh, Will Smith's genie character, and again, I loved that his relationship with Aladdin was more like a godfather. He was trying to steer him, uh, you know, trying to steer him to, down the right path, and they were more like friends, which I think is which were, was a really nice part. Like I said, I like the musical numbers in this too. I thought the music was great and stuff. And I thought, again, Will Smith can't sing, but uh, he did the best he could in it. And he acquitted himself quite nicely in the, in the numbers, I thought. And again, I think, again, I think Naomi Scott was the best singer out of all of them. And she, again, her and Mina Massad had great chemistry as, you know, Aladdin and Jasmine. And I enjoyed this movie. I enjoyed it a lot. Okay. So I definitely recommend it and wouldn't mind if they do a sequel. Because I, I, I really enjoyed the movie a lot. I thought the characters were great. Like I said, like I said Jafar was my only negative for this movie. But other than that, I, I enjoyed it a lot. And I thought that the background design and everything else was absolutely fantastic and breathtaking. And I enjoyed it a lot. So I'm going to give uh, Aladdin, the live action version of it, I'm going to give it a 7.8. Okay, I really enjoyed it a lot. Okay, again, my only negative being Jafar. I thought... He was uh, just too weak uh, to me. I'm just not menacing enough. He wasn't didn't have enough screen presence. Okay, that's what I, I guess wanted to say about that character. But other than that, I enjoyed the movie a lot, and I definitely wouldn't mind seeing it again. I definitely recommend you go out and see it again. Okay. So anyway, my, my, had a nice mix of humor, and of course, and the, the drama and the romance. And I thought it worked quite well with this. I thought Guy Ritchie did a good job with it overall. So again, 7.8 for me. Anyway, let me know what you think of Aladdin. If you've seen it, what do you think of it? Uh, feel free to leave comments down below. If you like this review, please hit the subscribe button down below. I have links to my social media in the description box, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. I also have a link to my other channel, Paul's Views and Opinions. We check that out as well. And this is Trey Fast saying so long. Take care.